Hey, my name is Kat Lifner, and today I'm painting on this 18 by 24 inch canvas. Um, I've already prepared it with a layer of white paint, and it's titanium white by Liquitex Basics, and it's just mixed with water. And um, actually, all of the paints that I'm using today are just mixed with water. And I get a lot of questions on uh, how much my ratio is, and um, I typically say about 40%, but um, I go more off of consistency than percentage or, or volume or weight. Um, whenever I mix my paint, I make sure that when I pull some paint on a stick out of the cup, and it pours back into the cup, there's no mound in um, where the, the paint land. Now there is an exception to that, and that is if I use a specialty paint with it, such as a metallic paint or a color shift paint. Um, I find that if I use too much water with those, it kind of just doesn't um, hold together is the best way to describe it. It just kind of um, breaks apart. And so uh, with those types of paints, I use less water. Now, um, all of the colors that I'm using are gonna be listed in the description box below. And um, I am horrible, <laughs> horrible at uh, writing down what I um, how I mix them and I really need to get better at doing that because sometimes I just grab a bunch of different colors and I mix them together and then I come back and I add a little more color of something and and then I forget how I got that color to begin with um, but um, I'm gonna do my best to to write down kind of what I used here and uh, I'm also a firm believer in reusing paint. So um, if I have a little bit of paint left over from another painting, I'll maybe add another coloring to it to just customize the color for the new project. And um, here you can kind of see me adding uh, another layer of paint because I realized that on a canvas this big, probably did not have enough to begin with so I'm just adding a little bit more um, to the canvas so that I won't have um, just a very thin stripe in the middle of this big painting and um, one of the colors uh, is a color shift and that's the um, lighter purple that you can see it's called plum and it's by folk art and um, like I said, that is a color shifting paint. All of the other colors are just um, Liquitex Basics and water. And um, I really enjoy working with these color shifting paints because uh, it just creates cells. Uh, and it's just fun to look at when uh, it brings a little bit more interest when you can uh, alter the painting based off of the angle in which you look at it and um, just makes it a little bit more interesting and it makes it pop a little more. Um, so now that I have all my colors down, uh, I am adding a little bit, just a little bit <laughs> of white here in the middle um, so that I can kind of create more of a, um, a center of uh, where the the colors meet so you see how I kind of pushed it together uh, over there in the middle and here I'm just kind of pushing the paint to the middle and um, the hair dryer that I'm using is a little miniature travel hair dryer um, I find that uh, using one that has a very uh, narrow kind of opening uh, works better for me. 
So um, here I'm just uh, blowing it out. Um, one of the things that I try to do as much as possible is uh, go over an area um, just once if I can. And if not, I try to just kind of go towards the edge of what I've blown out already. Um, if I start blowing over the paint again, I don't have enough paint on there to make it kind of move the way that I want to. So then it just kind of looks like it ripples more than um, a uh, more than uh, a flow. I don't know. And uh, I'm noticing here that I had like a lot of paint right there, so I'm trying to blow that out. And I did not like how that turned out. So um, one thing that's great about see, I'm still trying to fix it. <laughs> and uh, I'm just realizing here that mm, that's not looking super awesome. So that's one thing that is great about fluid art and the process of, of pouring things on a canvas is you can just literally just wipe it off. And um, rather than try to fix it and um, spend a lot of time uh, making it something that you're not happy with, um, just starting over. Um, I'd rather do that than um, have something I'm not happy with. And so, um, what I make sure to do when I wipe something off is, um, you can kind of see the paint underneath. And, uh, so here I am going to get a paper towel so that I can really get these colors off the canvas. Um, otherwise you're not going to have that negative space. Um, that I enjoy with Dutch pours is just having a lot of negative space. And don't forget to wipe the side off the canvas when you do this because um, you don't want there to be like a bunch of um, paint on the side of a canvas when the paint is not there on the rest of the canvas, if that makes sense. And um, I'm just spreading out another layer of white here and I go as close as I can to where I kind of start scraping the paint off so um, there's not bare canvas there. And um, sometimes what I do is um, I, I'll add more paint if I feel that um, there's not a whole lot to work with but in this case there was a lot of paint in that area already which is what I try to load up in the first place <laughs> so um, I knew that I would be able to, to kind of blow it up with no problem and so this was a little bit more what I was looking for and I felt like that was a little bit more um, well, it was a better composition so here's my nifty little straw invention <laughs> so that I don't have to um, bend over the painting and it's literally uh, just straws in different sizes um, so that it, they can be put together and um, I like paintings with a little bit of like little tails here and there or wispies or whatever um, and I accomplished that by just using a straw to um, blow out certain areas and then I just blow it a little bit and sometimes um, you can uh, also use your fingers to just draw it a little bit um, away from the, the main area of the colors um, and I just think that it looks a little bit more natural that way. Um, 
and so here we go here is the final result and you can kind of uh, see here the the purple it kind of looks a little gold but there's no gold it's that color shift and um, I hope you enjoy watching and as always um, I, I really appreciate any uh, comments or any follows and I hope to see you next time.